Welcome. This instructional film will cover how to use the Olympus MAJ-1651 and MAJ-1652 disposable auxiliary channel water tube set and adapter, which have been specially designed for use with your Olympus OFP or OFP2 endoscopic flushing pump and your Olympus endoscopes that include an auxiliary channel water connection. The MAJ-1651 auxiliary channel water tube set is approved for single day use. The MAJ-1652 auxiliary channel adapter is disposable after each case and is approved for single patient use. Your MAJ-1651 and MAJ-1652 are supplied sterile packed in separate blister packs. Before use, inspect the condition of the sterile pack and check the use by date and condition of the product. First, Open the MAJ-1651 sterile packaging and remove the two components of the auxiliary channel tube set. Locate the lure connectors on each tubing section and attach the two separate tubing sections to create one long tube. The tube's pinch clamp should be located on the tubing section ending with a lure connector with the scallop cut tube on the opposite end. If you will be using bottled sterile water, such as the Baxter or Friesenus branded sterile water, you can discard the plastic cap which came with the sterile water bottle. Use the plastic cap provided with the auxiliary channel water tube set to locate the tubing in the bottle. Push the tube into the bottle up to the first indicator line marked on the tube. If you will be using the water bottle provided for use with your OFP or OFP2, Olympus endoscopic flushing pump, then remove the plastic cap provided with the auxiliary channel water tube set and discard it. You will then thread the scallop cut end of the auxiliary water channel tube set through the water bottle cap on your OFP or OFP2 into the bottle up to the first indicator line marked on the tube. Open the pump head lever on your OFP or OFP2 endoscopic flushing pump. Now, locate the two black lines printed on the auxiliary channel water tube set just above where the tube set is inserted into the water bottle and hold either side creating a loop. Insert the formed loop fully into the pump head, taking care not to stretch the tube, ensuring that the two black lines can be seen on either side. Release hold of the inserted tube and allow it to relax to a natural position and then close the pump head lever ensuring that the tube is fully retained and not pinched at the edges. Rest the clamped end of your tube set above the pump. Now locate the MAJ-1652 auxiliary channel adapter, removing the adapter from its sterile packaging. Locate the auxiliary channel connection point on your Olympus endoscope. Attach the adapter to the auxiliary channel connection point by screwing the adapter down onto the connection. Be sure that this connection is tight. This adapter will remain on the endoscope before, during, and after the procedure. The adapter should only be removed once the endoscope has reached the reprocessing location. Attach the MAJ-1651 tube set to the auxiliary channel adapter on the endoscope, turning one component onto the other, ensuring a tight fit. You may now prime your pump to confirm that water exits from the endoscope. Should any leakage be noted, retighten all water channel and adapter connections. You are now ready for your case. Upon completion of the procedure, engage the pinch clamp by pressing between the thumb and forefinger, ensuring that the clamp compresses the tube. Then, detach the tube set from the adapter by holding the MAJ-1652 in place and rotating the lure fitting, leaving the adapter on the endoscope. For your next case, attach a new MAJ-1652 auxiliary channel adapter to your next endoscope as instructed previously. Then attach the scope via the fresh adapter to the MAJ-1651 tube set. Remember to disengage the pinch clamp and prime before use. After final use, engage the pinch clamp. 
Holding the water tube higher than the water container, lift the pump head and then release the pinch clamp to allow the water in the tube to return to the water container. Dispose of the MAJ1651 and MAJ1652 in accordance with hospital guidelines.